So the greatest fixture on the footballing calendar. Maybe it is El Gran Clasico, no less. This is John Champion in the company of Jim Beglin and a warm welcome to the Camp Nou. Hi, John. I'm really glad to be here. Let's hope these teams serve up a real cracker. They've attracted some of the best players in the world over the years, and it's easy to see why they all want to play for Real Madrid. Well, it really is a club steeped in history and a constant pressure to win. And you know the beauty of it. For a player, the challenge is the opportunity to play consistently in some of the best derby games in the world, and alongside that, the UEFA Champions League. Well, that's where you want to be, to be at the pinnacle of your sport. That's what every player should be striving for. These are the lineups. So here we go then. Over to the wing. Sergio Ramos. Marcelo. Marcelo's cross, and it's hoofed away. The first effort on goal. Well, it looks like the control just deserted him at the final moment. I mean, to say he got a poor connection, that's an understatement. Here's Puyol. Here's Adriano. Here's Chevy. This is very pleasing on the eye. Plays this forward. Xavi. It's opened up nicely for him. Di Maria. Wants to get this forward. Puyol. Here's Xavi Alonso. And he continues this long run. Well, the whistle's gone and the assistant referee's got his flag up. Just caught offside there. He's just drifted beyond the last defender. TK on the ball. Iniesta. Chance for a counter then. He's looking to play it into the channel. The pass cut out. The ball is with Kadira. Now Kadira. Puyol makes the interception. Puyol. Now Pedro. The assistant referee's flag was raised. Just offside. Good call. Good call. He was just behind the last defender. This could be interesting. They keep the pressure on by winning a corner. It's a ball in, and a strong header. No luck there. Well, the defender was stuck to him like glue, but he got his effort away. It wasn't quite enough, though. Iniesta. El Camp Nou is a, a really breathtaking arena. A capacity of almost 100,000 makes it the biggest and well, most of Barcelona would say the best stadium in Europe. Iniesta. Here's Daniel Alves. Here's Iniesta. The ball's with Xavi. Kedira. Benzema. Di Maria. Now Kedira. It's going right across the goal, and they've hooked it clear.
A switch of play. Marcelo. Here's a cross. Great build-up. Pity about the outcome. Oh, you've got to say that the leap there was brilliant, but he just couldn't execute the header. It's a nice one, too. And Lionel Messi sets off on one of his trademark runs. They may well get a bit more joy down the flanks. They'll certainly find more space out there. They're breaking out quickly here. He's latched onto it. Chance. And he comes to the rescue again. Yeah, well, he won't be happy with some of the defending in front of him. He can hold his head high. That was a fantastic stop. A ball in. And he's done well to get his head on that. Just off target. Oh, look, I just think he didn't get the connection he was hoping for. Nearly perfect technically, but not quite on the mark. Here's Puyol. Some slick passing on display. What can they make of it? Xavi on the ball. And we've had 30 minutes of this first period. Benzema cuts it out. A fine display of slick passing. Now Alexis Sanchez. Now through to Pedro. Listen, when it's congested through the centre of the pitch like that, they'll threaten more from the wider positions. Benzema. Just caught him. And Real Madrid with a set piece. Here's Kadira. The ball played into space nicely. A lunge! Oh, that was such a good chance. Xavi Alonso, Marcelo, Kadira, Messi, Adriano, Puyol. Now Sergio Busquets. This is lovely passing to watch. Daniel Alves. The ball's with Iniesta. And indeed, it is a yellow card. No hard feelings between the two players. But there was an air of cynicism about the foul. Iniesta on the ball. And Daniel Alves. A chance, Alexis Sanchez. And that's gone wide of the left-hand post. He was in such a great position in front of the goal and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. It's on for him. Great through ball over the top. Here's Xavi. Iniesta. Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi! The whistle goes, and it's the end of the first half. Well, what a splendid half of football that was. I think we've seen some wonderful movement from everyone, particularly the strikers. I think they've been a real handful. They should have more to show than this. Neither side conceding a goal then. It is nil-nil. Barcelona against Real Madrid. This is very pleasing on the eye. Messi. Now Kadira. Xavi Alonso. 
Can he now find a finish? Just how wasteful was that? Iniesta. And on he goes. Well, both teams looking for substitutions here. They'll test the strength of their benches. Takes a shot. Well, that was really close. But you get nothing for being close. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Here's Marcelo. Here's Sergio Ramos. Benzema. Stopped him illegally there. And Real Madrid with a set piece. Decent strike. Saved by the crossbar. He went for power there. Well, I wasn't expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close. I mean, he kept the keeper on his toes. Here's Pique. Daniel Alves. This is lovely passing to watch. The ball's with Villa. Slides it through. Well, they're just not realising their potential. They have to find an end product. Well, it's a sharper cutting edge they need in front of the goal. Now Erzo. Intercepted. Now Sergio Busquets. Here's Pedro. Cristiano Ronaldo. No, it's been cut out. And now the counter-attack. Oh, he's lost it. Well, they're just not realising their potential. They have to find an end product. Deliberate foul. And Real Madrid with a set-piece. Pedro. Now through to Villa. No, that won't be finding its target. Now Lasana Diara. The ball's with Higuain. Xavi. Promising movement. Cesc Fabregas on the ball. Here's Higuain. Benzema. It's true. Now he's ready for a shot. The post in the way. He really should have put that away. Well, he really should have opened the scoring there. Still a very tense game. Puyol. And Adriano. Piquet. Cesc Fabregas. The ball is with Sergio Busquets. Some slick passing on display. What can they make of it? Here's Adriano. Almost 75 minutes on the watch now. A fine display of slick passing. 
It's come through to him nicely. It's the ball. They've scored. We finally have the breakthrough we've been waiting for. They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. That goal oozed quality. Yeah, and I don't mind admitting that this is my kind of football. Good passing and movement with the right tempo and purpose. It's really enjoyable. So we resume at 1-0. Oh, this fella's Mr. Reliable. Whenever you need to find a goal from somewhere, he delivers. What a top man. Mesut Ozil. He plays it through. Here is Sergio Busquets. Xavi and Adriano. He's got in. Some slick passing on display. What can they make of it? Here's Mesut Ozil. Penalised for that challenge. They've used up all their permitted subs now. And it's a fairly obvious change to make at this stage, and he'll be watching the rest of the game from the bench. Alexis Sanchez. Well, they need a lot more urgency in that area. This is lovely passing to watch. Now Ozil. Now through to Alexis Sanchez. What a reprieve that was. Into the last five minutes, and the crowd breathless from the football they've seen. Still in pursuit of an equaliser. Yep, referee's gone to his pocket, it's a yellow for a fairly careless challenge he didn't really have to make. Could have been another colour too, certainly some sections of the crowd think red would have been more appropriate. And Real Madrid with a set piece. He's got two options here, he either goes for goal or he opts for the little dink into the penalty box. A fine display of slick passing. Here's Villa. Great chance for the counter. Higuain. He can take the shot on here. Maybe now. They've done it. Late drama here, right at the end. He escaped the shackles and finished very well. Yeah, defensively, they thought they had him where they wanted him, but he's forever on his toes, and he showed terrific movement to manufacture some space and score. So, parity restored in the dying minutes. Well, considering all the effort they've put into this, they deserve that from me, you know, but can they go on and grab a winner now? Out towards the corner flag. Court's offside. So there'll be no goal to put them in front here. Come through to him. Loses out in a position of some promise. Extra time beckons. We're still deadlocked at full time. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. Here we go again. Nothing to separate them up to this point. I see quite a few players out of breath, running out of energy. 
Will someone give us a winner? The game has been thrust towards extra time in the most cruel of fashions, quite near the end of normal time. Can they pick themselves up and look for the winner now? And Puyol. This is very pleasing on the eye. Alexis Sanchez, who has an assist to his name. Benzema, could be a chance now. Maybe now. Oh, yes, he scored! And that completes the comeback. He escaped the shackles and finished very well. And it looked as if he had no room to try and engineer a chance there, and yet his strength and desire came through. It's a very well-worked finish. They now lead by one goal. Or well, when you look around the dressing room and think, who can I depend on? This is the guy for me. He's such a wonderful technician. He shoots there. Oh, so close. Or oh, maybe he just cut across the shot slightly and that made it track the wrong side of the post, but that's very unlucky. Higuain, Xavi Alonso, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, who so far has scored twice. Oh, delightful, but no goal in the end. Well, if you ever wanted to see a textbook 1-2, I think you just saw it there. They made it look so effortless. It's a shame it just didn't come off in the end. Here's Benzema. Here's Puyol. Down. Now Alexis Sanchez, got it, this is lovely passing to watch. Xavi, a fine display of slick passing, and Abidal, the ball's with Xavi. Slick passing on display. What can they make of it? A really tough first half comes to a close. They've put in so much, they've been rewarded with the lead. The big question now, can they hang on to it? Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Foul. Referee with an easy decision to make. And Real Madrid with a set piece. He knocks it in. Chipped it. Xavi. PK. Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's Daniel Alves. Here's PK. Here's Villa. Now through to Pedro. Alexis Sanchez. Quick as a flash. And it's a really well taken goal. And how vital might that be for Barcelona? The keeper just didn't deal with it. And his team has paid the price. Well, that's not the best attempt by the keeper, and he's just paid the ultimate price, hasn't he? They kick off with parity restore. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't like extra time, believe me. Now the chance. 
opportunity for a goal. He went all the way there, great effort. Yeah, he was almost untouchable there. I mean, they can count themselves very lucky that he didn't find the back of the net. Alexis Sanchez. Oh, it's been cut out. The kick is given. Barcelona with a free kick. Will he go direct here? Free kick! He can't be too happy with that. Here's Raul Albiol. Xavi Alonso. Got it. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. Now Higuain. Xavi Alonso. Here's Xavi. Looking to thread it through. Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. Here comes the cross. Still not cleared properly. Well, this is where the influx of foreign players comes home to roost. The manager looking at some of his players, not quite sure who some of them are, but he needs five of them to take penalties now. Well, look, to go behind an extra time wasn't part of the plan, certainly, but to come back from it really gives them the momentum now going into the shootout. It doesn't matter how many times you've been in a penalty shootout, even the most experienced of players can crumble under the intense pressure. Struck with some authority. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. It hit the bar. Oh, agonizingly close, but he's been denied by the woodwork. That was outstanding. Far too close to the goalkeeper. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. The poor goalkeeper didn't stand an earthly. He places it on the spot, steps back, pauses, looks fairly relaxed, but his heart must be beating like crazy. It's there, and his team fights on. This could be it. He has to save this one to keep them in the game. He scored, the game is over. They were put on the spot, and they found the answer to every question. Such a tight contest. There was nothing at all separating them, and the winners showed such excellent composure in the shootout. Well, they held their nerve in the end, and that was the difference between the two teams. I think the manager will be absolutely delighted with that performance. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me, John Champion, to thank Jim Beglin alongside me, and to wish all of you a very good...